कृपया ध्यान दीजिए द लैंग्वेज यूज ऑन द पॉडकास्ट मे नॉट बी फिट फॉर कंजम्पन वी वॉन्ट यू ट्रेड केयरफुली बट लिसन यार डोंट बी सो कंजर्वेटिव Oh, I thought I would be talking to myself here, but for some reason on this Tuesday morning, I'm very confused. It wasn't me. I'm stuck here at the moment. It's Tuesday morning where I am, but it's also Saturday evening in Nicaragua, which is a slightly backward country. So I'm not sure what time it is exactly when the show goes out. Want to just rename the show? We're bored with the name. The present name is Cyrus Says Cock and Bull, presented by Volvo Cars India with Pet Care Partner Heads Up for Tails. Thank you for that. Thinking of changing the name to the Democratic Process of Cyrus Says. I'll explain that in a second. Every day I fight with people, places I go to where they call me sir for no reason. I try to explain it to them. Today I screamed at a cleaning lady who said, "Good morning, sir." I said, "If you call me sir again, I'm going to kill myself in front of you." And I think she was most appalled, and I thought she, she felt insulted. She felt really upset and hurt. And then I realized that Indians just don't understand democratic and egalitarian thought. It's just like wasted on them, you know. And so she actually thought I was just being a big bully, which I wasn't. I was just trying to tell her, "Stop calling people sir. There's no need to call anybody sir in the country. Never again." Even. People of mixed genders who have issues with what to be called—that's another story altogether. But no sirs, all right. So I've decided this show now must have a philosophy and a premise, and the premise is to spread democratic thought. And we'll do that by calling it the democratic process of Cyrus Says. Brought two of the greatest philosophers India has seen <laughs> since Mahavir himself, Abbas, who came via Lucknow three yes. hundred years ago. No, no, way, Cyrus, I'm joining from Khargarpur. It's uh, it's five p.m. over here, yeah, 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 and yeah. it's not even a Tuesday. It's some completely other day over here. Hey, India is divided into many time zones. You pick your day, no problem. And of course, we've got Kajol, who always uh, joins us live from her studio in Kandivli. <laughs> I'm Kandivli. also in Kargarpur. Hey, listen, I have to confess something. I always thought there were two IITs, okay, Kharagpur and Kargarpur. Oh, you say it sounds spent- sexual. The no. IIT is not a problem there, uh, Kajol. The fact that you thought there was a city called Kargarpur. I know, but it's spelled so wrong, yeah. It's That's, fine. It's not my fault. Don't worry. The things that have done been done to Indians and India. I mean, this is not really <laughs> in the list of crimes. Why are you worried? <laughs> Let it pass. True. Yeah. Um, and for all we know, in a few years there might be a place called Kargarpur. Considering we're exactly. changing. If if uh, Kajol and Kandivli secede from the uh, yeah, Indian, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they, 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 as their leader, ask her what name should we go with? And, I remember this in a show once, and there you go. Uh, special discount to IITians. You get any feedback from anybody from IIT? Is anybody uh, from yet. IIT follow you? Not your... yet. No one from IIT watches this podcast. I think. Oh, that's how. Kajol, I've been approached by IIT to take a comedy workshop for them. Free? Yeah, uh, as in to improve yes. his comedy. They'll it's teach free. Him. One second, yeah. I have something to say. It okay. is free. <laughs> Okay, they will yeah. promise you lunch. Okay, then they had called me to do all these it's shows. Online. Not... It's online. Not even lunch. Yes. <laughs> not even lunch. Can't even order Zamato and ask them to pay. Not even that. Yeah. Yeah. Are they promised me lunch yeah. and all to judge a comedy contest? And they asked me beforehand. A student called me and said, "What would you like? Would you like a Frankie? And I'll put in a brownie and something, something, and a milkshake. What flavor of milkshake?" When I finally got my lunch, I saw this flat chapati on it. Okay, there was nothing else on the plate. <laughs> It's <laughs> engineering for Frankie. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then when I lifted up the chapati, there was a small brownie smashed underneath that. So wow. the lunch is now worth it. Oh God! This sounds like the British all over again. A small brownie <laughs> smashed underneath that for no reason whatsoever, and no repercussion, no reparations. Aren't IIT canteen supposed to be like legendary for their food and all? It is, but it's not necessarily legendary for great food. But it's a legendary canteen. Yeah, Mumbai, true. I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know, I can't speak for all, but everyone who's performed there generally it is free. We did a podcast. You guys were around at that point. I don't know. Naveen was the actor. I was, yeah, yeah. Naveen was the actor, was and they attacked him physically mm. with slippers. What? Uh, and I encouraged it, of course. No, no, what That was the best part of the show. We did a pod with um, Sanjay Jha and Shazia Ilmi. Shazia and Sanjay Jha. Mm. This guy is better than me. Remembers everything. Sanjay Jha is not in a party anymore. No, I wasn't there. I heard the episode though. Well, as in I was at he, IVM, but I wasn't producing. Well, that doesn't mean he can't stand for the presidency because everybody else did. So you know, I mean, he just put his hand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But to be honest, uh, from what he told all of us offline, which we should never say online, is that he just called a spade a spade to the first family, and after which there was dis in uh, enchantment, uh, as you can see, and the chasm grew, and before you know it, he was out. So basically, there was no way criticism would be accepted. Which is look at us in the podcast. We finish the show. Sparish says, immediately says, Ben. Bench out, Cyrus. Come here, and immediately <laughs> point A. 
पॉइंट बी नाक में बाल है कान में बाल है ये है वो है इमीजिएटली टका टक ही गिव्स इट टू यू एंड वी टेक इट क्वाइटली राइट बिकॉज़ वांट टू इंप्रूव द शो राइट काजल दैट्स व्हाट आवर शोस आर देन वी मीट फॉर 3 आवर्स यसरी थिंकिंग अबाउट व्हाट वी कैन डू ऑन द शो टुडे यस 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 ऑफ कोर्स यस अ टिपिकल मंडे मॉर्निंग इट वाज यसटरडे यस वेयर यू मेट डू अ बस द कांग्रेस डजंट वांट टू डू दैट दैट्स द रीजन because after if you fail two three elections i'm talking about general elections and the one here in the state but you know you got to look inwards and somebody's got to say i'm accountable and somebody's got to say we need some change the perestroika and glasnost moment comes and that didn't happen and now if you go yeah. back malik arjun uh, kharge kharge himself I, i think that's all the wrong or oh, whatever so who am i to but, decide uh, what congress does i heard that shashi tharoor put some wrong map of india on his manifesto or something like that he's cut out bits of uh, of jammu and kashmir who yeah. even i have only heard the head, uh, uh, read the headline i didn't uh, read the piece in the internet world we live in that would be a big boo boo uh, <laughs> yeah but does it mean he can't win the presidency like he said <laughs> it may be overlooked uh, i i uh, as a fan of shashi tharoor i hope he wins i hope he resurrects the party i hope they have some sort of credibility after that and opposition is needed whether you're pro bjp or anti bjp opposition is exactly. needed or we just don't have any functioning democracy and i'm using the word loosely in any case right guys so come yes. on yeah yes yes so sarus you remember the impersonation i did of mr tharoor <laughs> Let's go. So, Let's so, go. Uh, so, somebody in the comments uh, pointed out that my Tharoor sounds more like Swapandas Gupta. No, no, no. I no, can't no. agree. No, no, no. It's a pretty good Tharoor. Swapandas Tharoor. Swapanda Tharoor. Swapanda is very a, the high pitched. Pitch. You know the thing is. <laughs> there was not. Yeah, know. he's very high pitched. No, no. This I was now I was doing Swapandas Gupta. The yeah, I know, I know. Is, I don't know. It's I'm, very high pitched. I'm a fan of you, Abbas. I've become a fan. I love the <laughs> Shashi Tharoor. We we have to accept that it was a good performance. And whoever who's this guy? Who I mean. I think you just need to get under your skin, your massive skin, because you know the. That's true, yeah. And all that. But, yeah, stop, uh, stop no, I'll, discouraging me. I'll tell you what. Put it out on on the chat. Yeah. Everybody who thinks that this is a pretty good Shashi Tharoor, he'll do it from at some point in the show. And uh, if, for those who haven't heard it, before. yeah. And Shashi uh, Tharoor, yeah, if you're forgetting uh, India, things like that, and you can't remember who you are, talk to our bus just to get a little uh, refresher course. I yeah. have met him actually. I got a one of one of his books signed by him, the Great Indian did Novel. Did you dare do the impression? No, I did not. But on the on the first page, he wrote uh, two. To Abbas, the great Indian reader? Question mark. And then he signed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds. That sounds. That he went by look. Good. He went by look, but Abbas is one of the few IVM readers. So there's Amit and there's Abbas. <laughs> and there's nobody else. Let's be totally honest. Not a single other person. Oh, who, who was the? What is the manga comics? Or oh, Silvery, I suppose. Yeah, three. Silvery, okay. yeah, yeah. No, the, you, he reads hentai. Hentai is similar, isn't it? What is it? Yeah, uh, it's Japanese porn, animated. No, porn. you have to do it as Shashi Tharoor. <laughs> If you're going to talk about Japanese porn, I need Tharoor's voice <laughs> to convince me. So the art form of hentai, they have these uh, really uh, voluptuous women with tentacles coming out of them and. Uh, People uh, doing things to them which I'd rather not mention on air because it oh, goes yeah. against my against the grain of my morality and All my party's morality. All you had to do is roll with testicles instead of tentacles, and we'd have had another. Oh my God, uh, imbroglio, yeah, imbrogalio. Yeah. What do you say, Kajal? Not Shall bad. We... No? Have you seen this site? I don't know. He's he's got a pretty good set of impressions. It's taken us six years to unveil that. <laughs> no, okay. He's got a really good American accent. Uh, the Russian accent, I uh, I'm not too sure about. No, no. Even if they aren't authentic, they're funny. Really For me, good. the game is always: Do you laugh? If you laugh, the guy has won you over. If you don't laugh, oh, only that really petty prick is going on to think it's ninety-two percent Georgian, seven percent Azerbaijan, and one percent Crawford market. Fuck you! That's ridiculous. <laughs> So it's it's always about uh, I mean there's so many people do the Sachin uh, thing. My good friend Vikram Sathi who became a comedian after that he he just oh, yes. nailed it. He just nailed it. Uh, and I used to use him in all the MTV functions because I used to just die laughing. Then I'd go on a plane with him and I I used to drive him mad. I'd be like Vikram, you have to talk like Sachin for the whole drive, drive you know two hours to Delhi. And uh, you can't two hours to Delhi is Delhi. Ah uh, yeah, but it's a definitely a good place to pick up something to eat. <laughs> and, and the, and the I mean, and then of course, I would try my bit, and would go on like two morons. And he was head of marketing at that point. You can see where the world is going. So Abbas, well done. Luckily, no, you're uh, you're doing one. a Congress politician. Maybe <laughs> with a name like Abbas, you have to watch out who you're impre- doing the impression of. Yeah. There's only one person in on the other side who Abbas can impersonate, look wise and voice wise, and it would just. No, that's Amit Doshi. Yes, Amit Doshi. Amit Doshi has nailed that one. <laughs> Sorry, Abbas. That was he just. I have a. I have impersonated him in a real life. We did with I did with Sri Ram. And uh, then you migrated. Uh, <laughs> yes, to Kargar. The only time we were told on CNBC, actually told not to do impressions or take on a subject, was on him over one issue. I won't get into that and all. It's the only mm-hmm. time people ask you, they ever tell you they they've been very nice. 
in spite of yeah. the change in government it's like this you know more right wing or whatever this is the only time and it's only to do with him we've never been asked not to do anything about the pm you know so obviously we're not yeah. stupid so there's only so much we do uh, man ki baat we don't really look at that magnificent so when, when i went to amdabad uh, a comedian there took me on a night drive to see this man's bungalow all right Arey, he was trying to patao you kajal you don't understand <laughs> men the prime minister is incidental <laughs> There's got to be better heritage sites in Ahmedabad. I'm sorry. Yeah, what can you see in the night? Quit while you're ahead. You're not Shashi Tharoor. You're walls. just the impressionist. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw sorry. walls. I saw dimly lit walls of this man's bungalow. You're prejudiced. Look at the way you're telling the story. <laughs> I just want to play devil's advocate for a second. I mean, you start the story by saying, you know, what a horrible idea to take me there. Then... <laughs> Then aesthetically speaking, disappointed, and again in the list of criticisms against him, not the highest no, and heaviest. Listen, if I take someone yeah. on a tour, night tour of Angela, at least you can see the building. You're comparing. So the prime minister of our state <laughs> is. Uh, <laughs> I, I get. I get the meaning. I understand what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. So who's the boss here? Can, I mean, some, the, apparently me. I'm the co-host. Apparently means that we've taken a yes. democratic functioning <laughs> beyond. Control. Thanks, Maya. No, just as as was established by the Sri Ram Ayushi episode, they can uh, just exchange. She hijacked it from duties. him. I tell you, no, no been, one I can think, hijack things from Sri Ram. I'm sorry, maybe wrong because I don't know them well enough. But I think both Ayushi and Kajal are alphas, which is like my mother, my wife, and my daughter. And alpha females are, I, I truly believe, more powerful Cyrus. than alpha males. So Cyrus. they're very dangerous. The Sri only Ram kind of women you're comfortable with. Yeah. No, I, I'm. She, I'm sure I'm attracted to alpha women. Whatever. So it must be a bit of S and M there, which I have not, you know. Uh, <laughs> yes. Figured yes. Out yes. Yet. The thing <laughs> is, I don't consider myself alpha or Ayushi alpha. You're just used to these women, Victorian age women who sit and embroider quietly while you're talking to them. Where? I don't have any of those. I only no, have. I'm bullies. just saying that's the idea in your head. I'm hoping to meet them one day. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so sweet. Take me to Ahmedabad. Take me for a drive. Find me those women. <laughs> Bypass the prime minister. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> So one thing that house because, was whose house? Yeah. You mean a, a house that he owned? He doesn't reside in Ahmedabad. Of course he does. That is He's his in house. Delhi. He's the prime minister. Yeah, I think he lives no, in Delhi now. Who are you talking? No, no. Who are you talking about? No, you're talking about the HM. We're talking about the HM. The home ministers. Which house? He doesn't live there. They all live in Delhi. So you're no, looking. But he, okay, well that that he's so there. Are, he's there pretty often because he's built an entire flyover also. from his yeah, yeah, house yeah. to his office. True, true. But the residential houses are not uh, generally as glamorous as the bungalows they're given. Tell me about it. I'm living the hotbed of bungalows and all these strange men in white who run our state who all look the same after five minutes. Trust me. Yeah. Abbas, why do you? I, I mean, uh, oh, that's right. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. I'm trying in both ways, looking like one yeah. and uh, trying yeah. to mimic yeah. the other. Yeah. Uh, no, but I'm saying the difference between a Bombay person and a Delhi person is that if a Delhi person would live on your street, they would not shut up about showing off that they're living on the street with the most influential people in the in the state. Whereas a bo- as a Bombay person, you're not even happy with them. You're like, no, they're causing traffic. No, I, I get your point because there's a Delhi political consciousness is better. Uh, that's what yeah. I want to use. They're more open to political thought. Uh, no, as as I would agree, Delhi people love to show yeah. off their influence. Delhi people would not like living in Bombay anyway because uh, they they can't stand these small houses we live in. They I have been having chole bature. For the elite, chole bature. Ye chole bature. For the elite of Delhi, <laughs> wherever nobody likes the carving shop for hours. Okay, because we have a sense of entitlement. Let's, and then you're taking away the entitlement because someone else is behaving more spoiled than you. So therein okay. lies the problem. No, no, but so no. For a Delhiite to come to Bombay, it's very valid for them to ask, "Hey, so where do you live? How many square foot is your house? Yeah, and yeah, what's yeah. the rate in your Again, area?" Again, that's casual. Like, that's showing off because I live in such a palatial house in Bombay. You live in a one BHK, ha? Oh. And I got dumped because of it. Okay. <laughs> you think it's because oh. of it? Oh. But did you take your boyfriend? <laughs> did you take your boyfriend and show him Ekna Chinde's bungalow late at night? <laughs> you do. do. Gedi of that, Gedi, Gedi, Gedi. No, no. Sadhu, she she was showing him Uddhav's bungalow, but in the meantime, it held no a uh, sort of prestige. <laughs> Uddhav leaving with bags and baggage. <laughs> like, what happened? What happened? Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go to the stories. But I just quickly uh, uh, before you start. Yeah. So talk about the Delhi experience. So Saukar came here at seventeen or eighteen. He was a young kid with nothing, and then he got his first mm. salary, which was decent. Blah blah blah. So he moved into like a two bedroom from a small sharing with Whoa. four boys to so a two bedroom uh. house. Let's say one or two uh. years had passed, and uh, uh. he told me, "Brocha, ye dek, mere ghar mein kuch nahi tha, Delhi mein kuch nahi tha. They were not doing well. His father had left them, etc., etc. He wanted to right, say, right, right. and it was a bit uh. of a struggle. 
बट वो तो घर था और ये कार्डबोर्ड बॉक्स है उट <laughs> and it is owned <laughs> it is owned uh, by a guy let me figure out his name shubham saini uh, shubham saini who after dropping out of his bca course started this venture so there is like multiple things here crypto the name of the tea shop and the fact that he is capitalizing on the success of this is a big mistake who make tea he is trying yeah. to spin it uh, that the two things are correlated ki frustrated hai aur drop out bhi hoga but i think that's not the point because to be uh, an indian male you're frustrated anyway then you add to it with maybe a drop out or you know you got hit by a car or your wife left you or now you can't see properly or you lost your job but basically frustration is separate and i would like to point it out i speak from experience all the males have grown mm-hmm. up with all friggin frustrated from the age of 13 12 look at our bus even when he shashi tarur is frustrated <laughs> no but sarus this is the thing i was a frustrated college dropout in bangalore why didn't i think of this <laughs> i could have now, made so, a, a so few now you're doubly frustrated is what you're saying <laughs> yes hey, but do any of y'all actually own crypto i used to uh, rohan joshi before he had to sell his house uh, owned a lot of crypto now things are you uh, kajol i don't own crypto at all <clears throat> I had invested in uh, uh, what's that ether ether something oh, and we had a uh, show on Dogecoin. Yeah, yeah, we had a we had a show about crypto. Listen, But, I learned quite a bit uh, from crypto. I got to tell you from branding for crypto, not actually buying crypto. Ah, okay. <laughs> And I knew nothing about it. Still don't. Yeah. But they were. They were anyway, heavily, you remember they, when they even here and otherwise they were pushing heavily, especially on digital media. They were just pushing and pushing. Uh, they still are. I mean, uh, cryptocurrency. No, it's definitely still... it's definitely gone down, but it, it may revive. Ah. Okay, that's a difficult crashed, thing to explain. No? It had a. I mean, it was obviously way more uh, fluctuating than your normal markets, but yeah, it had a massive crash because of which it lost a bit of its credibility. Also, it didn't, it's nobody predicted it would be that. The up and down nature was fine because we saw that in the China issue and a couple of other things that happened a year back. But then this last crash that happened was a little unexpected. Yeah, and then yeah, the, yeah. people have lost faith a little bit, so they have to reinvent the wheel a bit. I would think now. For which case, I'm there to help support the people that try at crypto or crypto dot com. across the world yeah uh, coming back to the tea shop he sells teas in pullards not in cups so mr hey, saini we, we can't even finish one topic because it keeps <laughs> and one, going left right and center one cup of tea costs rupees 20 
and uh, J- mr saini thought he is the next rakesh junjun wala of the crypto world the situation turned bad with the crypto market crash in 2019 i was back exactly where i stand from 30 lakh to 1 lakh i couldn't <laughs> believe that one night could change so much in my life oh it's so frustrated oh he could look at it this way but mm-hmm. sirf chai pani tha yeah it's okay <laughs> Okay, okay I'll tell you something. Okay, I, I just don't say I'm talking about my mother, but I'll tell you something about my mother. <laughs> You're talking about your mother. <laughs> yeah. I can't deny the truth. This shows about the truth. Uh, okay, what about so, your mother? Then she was a social worker in Sofia's. Once she had gone to the police station to take permission for some, you know, rally or something. Morcha. And <laughs> see, see, see. Not morcha. Yeah. Not morcha. Uh, rally. Close to okay. that. Something. Or rally or morcha? What difference is there? This is a sophisticated word for morcha. Uh, let me ask Abbas, who's act- actually maybe bit more bilingual. <laughs> Uh, is there a difference morcha now that it come to think of it i mean a rally can be about the less serious it yeah. is a crusade against something i mean it it, it, it evokes the same thought yeah uh, i think it's kind of kind of the same thing this miss kajal from the panel put her back on tire no 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 she is going to the police station and uh, oh, we had a talk she... and all i'm not mentioning which police station so at the end oh. of the discussion the police, police station No, Baba, it wasn't. Mm-hmm. So the end, end of discussion, the inspector turned to her or whoever. And there, police station. And he was like, uh, "Madam, stuck in my mind now." No, no. Once the police guy says something, we'll understand which police station. <laughs> Those inflections <laughs> of of each lane, you're going to get into that kind of sophistication. Okay, sorry, Kajol, you were saying the yes. police guy. So you're like, "Madam, could chai pani?" And uh, she was like, "Nay, nay, ham pike aaye hai." Aisha same. <laughs> Aisha same. While building a house in. Uh, <laughs> the guy asked the the officer who had to give the clearance for building something asked for uh, donation and he asked for pachas. He meant fifty grand. She brought fifty rupees. <laughs> How much he laughed. So the guy was the broker. Did you did you still get the house, sir? <laughs> no, she, my wife is kachi. She brought him down. He started with right. But Bulgar had a heart attack when she realized that fifty rupees, not fifty thousand. You know, it was like who on earth asked for a fifty rupee bribe? Because she's saying fifty. You know how they talk. <laughs> you, have you dealt with these guys? They they they, yeah. they don't. But they I, don't would give you a full... I would never no, assume. I would never assume it sheep, meant fifty rupees. They always, each and every one, asks in a sheepish manner. She'll say, "Abhi, abhi, kya karna hai?" And he'll be like, "Uh, uh thoda donation, fifty." So she said, "Wow, I'm off the hook. That's it." Yeah, so your chai pani story is just exposing how sad that innocent people like your mother and my wife are destroyed by the horrible yeah. real I'll legality of it. I'll tell you what the problem is. I'll tell you what the problem is. Men are not comfortable asking a bribe from women. Okay, now. But even um, with us, they don't. They they aren't that comfortable. No, but they're a little more comfortable half. with women. They get very because they're flirting they to, with us. They flirt. I know they have to pretend to be a little nice guy or yeah. whatever. So when I go to a certain comedy venue, I park my car in a. Why aren't you uh, telling us names? You're sounding like you're. Oh, I thought country. I thought the venue, the, the 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 person who runs the venue, you pay you bribe him. <laughs> no, no, no. So soon, I park my Why car. Why can't she tell a... us the venue name? What's the fear? You, you and Shri Ram should be in a on a on a panel together with a bulldog. Okay, because that's the only person you're not allowed to speak. Okay, bulldog. I go on. Party, It's racism. Yeah. The dog suffers a lot. Born with a head which is too big for his body. So mean. Okay, Choose the venue is in Bandra, Cyrus. That would be. It's not in Bandra. Okay. Oh, it's not in Bandra. <laughs> So Abbas, when I go, take through Shashi Tharoor. All right, don't do any detective work, huh? So I park in a compound. Cuckoo's nest. Su- shut up. No, no, the cuckoo's nest shut down. Huh? So I park in a compound where I'm not supposed to park. So I just open my mouth. Wait, just wait for one minute. Okay, I park <laughs> in a compound. But I'm not an alpha female, right? But I'm not supposed to park. I'll just end I'm- it now. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh. And the easiest way I've realized to do it is to get out of the car with a fifty buck note in your hand and look at the security and say, "Aapko parking ka paisa dena hai, okay?" Because you should never, as a woman, ask for a bribe or let it be hanging in there. You should straight out pretend like you don't understand it's illegal. You mean offer a bribe? But no, in a that way, like parking charge. ka paisa, official. Ah, parking ka paisa, official. official. So, but, uh, how does how does the guy respond to that? Uh, Definitely, madam. Ha, ham hi hai. And then he takes a car for a spin. Yeah. No, it's but, a good uh, system. Huh. I, I like your thinking. Uh, it should work most of the time because people are very happy to get a little money, and then suddenly he's been an advantage already. So why should he back off from a good business proposition? Money and respect. Respect and all, and also he thinks you like him. So every male wants a female to like them. There's always a little fantasy involved when a girl talks to you. you I have I noticed. I unbutton my top and give him the money, side. Oh, I just say sexual. parking ka paisa. He, sexual is much later in the thought process. It's just a basic thing about feeling validated that women right. like me. Okay. That's it. Yeah, you that's what uh, you've never you been a watchman. Been. I've been a watchman. You think comedy pays? 
Every night it was shift. For God's sake, please understand. But you yeah. have dating apps for that, Cyrus. Now, many a times you go on dating apps to swipe on women, and they you just want them to swipe right on you. You don't even want to chat. You're like, I get that uh, validation of. Oh wow! Is that a guarantee? That, that, is that what's a guarantee? That only guy twenty two. I'm talking about a you? friend. <laughs> only guy twenty two. What? Only guy. <laughs> only guy. 22. No, that's my Reddit ID. That's not my Bumble ID. <laughs> That's actually Sparshi's ID and it's authentic. So leave him alone, your poor chap. Sparshi is a horny guy. He's genuinely a horny guy. He doesn't need to make a. But what do you mean? Who's uh, not a horny thing? guy? Like, like who? Like how many people you know are like I don't like sex here. I mean, I, come on. There are people like that. There are. Name me like two that. that we know. Okay, Sri Ram. Name me one more. <laughs> <laughs> who who are not horny? Like uh, classically growing up, you know, a guy who is just got no drive for girls. A straight guy who doesn't no, have I mean, any drive. Yeah, there are there are there Libido. are people who are asexual. Not, Young I mean, guys, I don't as the age goes down, people do get like that sometimes. But uh, name me one guy, Silvery. No, Silvery no, loves Silvery, them. Like, Silvery is pretty hot. Sparsh, yeah. Sparsh, uh, I've seen mountain fans Sparsh's, and all that when he's alone. Sparsh plays guitar. If that's not a sign of being horny, yeah. then I don't know <laughs> then, what is. Exactly. And Rishi, <laughs> Rishi wears a mask. Rishi because actually, his thoughts are so unholy. <laughs> he, but he's always pandemic. in studio. That boss, I'm saying, that, what are their feelings? Chahat ek cheez hai na. You don't have to actually. It's just the feeling. God, Abbas, what's wrong with you? You sound like a molester. I don't know no? if anybody's used the word. You want them to act on their feelings time. every two minutes. We send the guy with the guitar. He chases old ladies on the road in Bandra. You know, every woman getting out of a rickshaw. Sparsha! No, 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 no. <laughs> it's just what, what they feel inside. In the kajal, um, the kajal. What do you think of I'm, the, I'm, the men around you? Uh, aren't they all like? No, Cyrus. There are a lot of people who are just like normal. It's normal not to be horny. What? Well, to have it's a low normal not to normal. act on your. Horniness that's different. In a, in a, that's that's civil, not normal or abnormal. In an and uncivilized way, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why do you ask the chat? All the men who feel that they suffer from low yeah, chat, have no interest. Please tell us like your. Uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> actually, you're right. You're right. But uh, on LinkedIn, everyone is horny. Okay. Only thing is that their method of flirting is to say good morning, good morning, good morning until you like kind of like open your clothes and be like, wow, I'm so turned on with this good morning. Especially if it's night time. <laughs> no, get it. Yeah. they managed to message at 7 a.m. Yeah, who are these people? I, Raja, I can message you at 36. I got up today. I could send, <laughs> I, I in fact send messages to people who send me after nine at that time. Between 4 30 and no, 5. on LinkedIn, their, their way of horniness is like, for example, the last story. They will be like, Today I saw a tea maker in Bangalore and he was accepting crypto. This shows his drive that even despite <laughs> losing everything, this man wanted to get up, make oh, tea, God. and serve oh, the no. people. And this I like learned this lesson. Of as, yeah, exactly. No, no, spirit That's of Mumbai the stories. They're horrible. I hate those stories. <laughs> oh, HP no, no, support this, assistant, this access tea help, and I updated inspired... those steps. What I, I are you reading it. the chat? Which doesn't you give me a new laptop in the middle. This this you you're driving. Can there I are see? three podcasts going on. One is my life with tech. Okay, that's throughout the show. Mm. And, and, and mm. now my assistant is not there. I mean, it'll take me minutes to get her. But anyway, mm. can, can we talk about Ankur Variku's post? What did he say? Can I okay, pretend so, I know? Ankur yeah, Variku's you know coach. You don't know Ankur Variku, Cyrus? Uh, if it, um, is it wrong? Uh, I try to <laughs> think of a what is a Western equivalent of Ankur Variku. He's this very. Uh, hip viral life coach whose yeah. videos go uh, whose videos go Jay viral Shetty. online. Hai. I've seen a guy called kind Jay of Shetty. kind of like kind of like Jay Shetty, but yeah. okay. not as not as famous. <laughs> Jordan Peterson, he's not a life coach, but he's a psych- psychiatrist. No, no, not John, not, not Jordan, not Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson, for all his controversy, has been a professor and all. I don't think Ankur yeah. Variku has those. Ankur has, has no but, credibility. He's like you or me, and then just put but but he's account. very but he's very famous online. Huh. So yeah, what did he especially say? on LinkedIn. Is he, so he's not the same Ankur who makes music. That's another Ankur. No, 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 that's no, no, part no. He has no music. Then. So uh, he put up a LinkedIn post. Saying that I used to not be so fit and la la la. And then one of my colleagues gave me this t-shirt of embarrassment. It was a t-shirt which was fitting two sizes too tight for me. And my paunch was showing and my this thing. And he said, uncle, every day wear your t-shirt of embarrassment and go to the gym. So that people will laugh at you and that will motivate you. And I'm like, what I'm a sorry, but story. that's half my wardrobe and it doesn't make me do <laughs> shit. Okay. I just order new clothes with a, with a, with extra, with, with a bigger size. 
Yeah. Well, this doesn't make any sense because this is any bodybuilding and Manuel will tell you about this. Arnold was famous for posing with the car, calves head in, in water, covered by something which is genetically weak and not as good as the rest of his physique. So then they tell priority training is you expose that area and only show it and not your good parts. So that you keep telling yourself what's bad oh, and people make comments. It's supposed to be it's, 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 it's across bodybuilding. Yeah, it's anybody who's into fitness knows this. He's not come up with some rocket science new theory. You, how do you motivate you anyway, yourself? You anyway, if if like, Abbas's you problem is he wants to lose weight, then he wants to, he <laughs> want the stomach to be highlighted. So that's what he has to see all the time. Uh, Take the insults to push him and motivate him to say, okay, I'll what teach you. What a horrible you. way it. to do things. What a no, horrible, it's horrible way to do It's reverse psychology shamed. if you like. No. No, but you're using, you're projecting it for yourself. No, but you're to shaming do, someone, right? That is, you're shaming yeah, but why are you so fragile about the shaming, bro? You'll I'm be shamed in your life. You're and a human being. point is, if you're going if, if to let people shame you into doing stuff, that means their validation matters so much to you. It justifies the means. Machiavelli. As a coach. Before that, I don't care. But I can't speak uh, Prakriti or Pali, so I can only tell you the Italian version. And it justifies the means. Am I right, Shashi? No. No, you He's can't. Oh, yes, game yes. Game. The idea is the guy wanted to lose weight or get into some sort of shape. So the end, it's on him, Baba. You, Kajal, he's not insulting you. He no, and that guy. Telling the whole world to do it. He's one a coach. Second, the dynamic is between him and that coach. Let's say John, John and Ankur have a, this a, a system in place, and they go with it. So he's okay with that if he gets some results. So no, I'm not I saying it's for that, everyone. But now it's not for everyone. He's telling huh? the whole world to do it. He's saying this is a good idea. He's suggesting okay. it's a good idea. If if you like it, try it. If you don't like it, don't do it. If you're very fragile and no, touchy. Here's, and Here's my here's my so, point. Any like life I make Abbas saying, uh, fat jokes about Abbas all the time. Slowly, slowly, I've taken more liberties. He doesn't seem to bother. I don't know. One day he might run me over saying I hated them. But you know, and on the, looks like it's not a big deal. You know, so I don't know. Everyone's no, different. How do you That's assume it's not a big deal? Okay, no one likes to hear such stuff. Yeah, Cyrus, it hurts me to the core. He of cries it later, Cyrus. After every you, show, I've got to. But every time he's heard, he breaks into he a Russian cries. accent. <laughs> no, he doesn't cry. He just sweats a lot and it's around the eyes. Come on, for God's oh, sake. Yeah. No, I think uh, as a life coach, you should not uh, project the fact that it's okay to make someone feel embarrassed about how yeah. they look. Or, no, he's uh, not. It's not a compulsory they're... thing. Hey, whatever but as a your life boat, coach, bro, come on, Cyrus. That is what he's projecting. I like that, that kind of selling, thing. No? I like the kind of thing. I, I think Indian men are too fragile. I don't sound like Andrew Tate, but I'm exposed to them all the time. Whether it's at the but, shoot, whether no. it's in the podcast. But I think they're always looking for excuses. I couldn't come. I, look at Shreyas didn't turn up. Love the guy, but didn't turn up. Apparently food poisoning. That is, I mean, unless he's got third stage cancer. I mean, don't tell me about illness. It just, just sounds wrong. You know, so the thinking is too fragile. Anyway, okay. this, uh, this we can wrap this up another day. So he wants uh, to get fit. Go into he, a break. he wants to get fit. Uncle uh, wanted to get fit. He did the right thing because he was too fragile. And, uh, you know, the whole idea is he's too weak in the mind. The mind had to get stronger and he did it. Not for everyone. But by taking that shame and using it correctly, he was able to push himself to a higher level. Cheers, everybody. I think it's a great idea. From now on, uh, all the fat shows in my unlike, un- un- unlike unlike Ankur Variko, I am absolutely fine and happy in my body type. So I don't want to lose weight. So when my shirts get tighter, I just give it to give it away to someone else. Give it to me now. <laughs> Okay, I don't cool. like spending money. Yeah. Okay, cool. I, I don't do mind if it fits uh, or doesn't fit. It's always free. Yeah. That's how I, I used to meet right. girls. Girls with very low standards. They would come and I'd be okay, fine. Great. That's it. Okay, we're almost 40 minutes in. So we have to go into our sustainability. Sustainability on, story. On a Tuesday of morning, the day. people have to work. Yes, on a Tuesday morning. <laughs> uh, the sustainability story powered by the Volvo XC40 recharge is that there's good news for car buyers all over India. The Indian government has stepped up in the. Say it like you mean it, Shashi. Shashi, say it like you mean it. <laughs> This is, a, this is a fantastic news for the, all the car buyers in India, all over the all over the uh, all country. Uh, the Indian government has stepped in to make electric mobility safer for everyone, which is something I highly recommend. You should always be safe in what you whatever you explore in your life. There is now safety rules like the presidential that elections that the battery manufacturers will have to adhere to going forward. These battery safety requirements will also ensure that consumers are being sold genuine products as deemed safe by the government. Which government? Let's not get into that. But uh, safety is something I will also look uh, look after uh, once uh, the results for the, the, the president come out. Uh, it's also especially helpful for buyers because the companies flouting these norms or have been found uh, to, to sell faulty batteries will now be forced to issue a complete recall of defective vehicles. The date for this implementation has been uh, the 1st of October, which is a date well gone by in the past as we record this. Of we're not recording this, we're live. <laughs> no, as we record this, the 1st of October... As we record October the live is, recording. Yes, sorry. I, I, sorry. Is, is, yeah. is in hindsight. Actually, I should so have if you're, argued, yeah. I, I totally forgive you, uh, Ramu. So if you're in the market for an EV... I like you go by the name Malik. Malik Arjun. Yeah. That's my moniker. 
Oh, that, that's an esteemed colleague of mine who was a runner-up in the in the results for well, the for up, the no loser. election. The runner-up is if there are lots of people <laughs> taking part. If it comes back to just two, then you're the loser. We know loser. If yeah, you, embarrassing. If you, embarrassing. Please call me loser. <laughs> <laughs> loser, if you'll allow me to wrap up this wonderful story yes, by our extremely <laughs> voracious sponsors, if I may please. Uh, voracious. If you're in the voracious. Not the right word. <laughs> well, it's better than user of vocabulary. It's better than like, like your stream of consciousness of shock. Me. Voluptuous yeah. is voracious. Voluptuous, uh, no, is, no. Uh, I think Shashi, you need to examine your thought. What's on your mind? We just discuss. What did we discuss about men? Okay, back to the. Spot. If you're in the market for an EV and you only want the safest and the best for your family, you can now get that because uh, there are there are now there are now systems in place for for making sure of your safety. And I've spat all over my microphone, <laughs> which I will have to, <laughs> which will, I will have to clean up in the break. That we're about to go in. Why would you have to clean it up? You're on your own. <laughs> Cyrus, I share these promises with a with a very beautiful lady, and right. she will be massively. Can I, see uh, her? Uh, uh, I don't want to sound like a creep. But at, can I see at her? This, at this and, time, and where do I swipe? In, <laughs> at this time in Kargarpur, uh, there are people <laughs> who like to take a little nap. So uh, this this uh, companion of mine. Is very much in the uh, in the dreamland. She's a, if, she's if a, she's a lazy sort. I don't know what I'm saying. Who doesn't wake up? She's a lazy sort who doesn't wake up till noon. Is it? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Kajal, should we take a break then? Oh, sorry, uh, Abbas, uh, Shashi. I don't know who's it. Yes, just. please. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just text Let's Sparsh to break. and to, to, to tell Rishi because they are somewhat. Sparsh crazy. says we agree <laughs> to go into the break. <laughs> Yes, and as we come back after the break, uh, we've started a new section called Funniest Impression of the Week. And uh, it goes to, well done, uh, Kajal, for your impression uh, of a girl oh. in a police station talking oh. to a watchman while parking the Thank car. Thank you. What, you thought you'd get it? Shashi, you will not I get it. I was expecting it. You are not going to get it. No, not for... Oh, shit, I broke it. Oh, shit. Like, my, wife, my wife's marathon something else. She kill me. Oh, man. Like, we got to be careful. Mm. Can't trust uh, people like this. My wife achieved all her athletic glory after the age of forty. Those kind of people take it seriously. Like never ran anything in school or college, and then suddenly after forty they discover this and start taking part in contests and all that, and so they've gone berserk. It's horrible finding life and meaning in your forties. By then you should be washed out and dead like me. No, this is what you get. Abbas, you're frozen. No, no. Oh, that's I'm just here. you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, sir, a couple of push-ups before we start the show, Shashi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cyrus, uh, McDonald's in the US is going oh, that's to That's a nice introduce name. I was half Irish. Happy Meal. Happy Meal with toys for adults. Irish McDonald's. It's not, the, sorry, sorry. It's not the kind of toys. It's not the kind of toys you think they are. Just but For whom? For adults. So, from October uh -huh. the 3rd, customers in the US will be able to order a cactus plant flea market box, which is a very enticing name, which will have a drink, fries, and a choice between a Big Mac or a 10-piece box of McNuggets. The meal box features McDonald's iconic bright yellow and red color scheme, as well as pops of other bold colors. Why doesn't it say what toys they have? What's a uh, toy? <laughs> no, so, no, you know the whole meal. Happy Meal, you know no, the happy meal concept, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Essentially, they are bringing back some of their most uh, iconic, uh, nostalgic toys for adults for them to order. Uh, the, the, the oh, so it's because we grew up meal. on these toys when we were young. Yes, it's a recall. Yes. So it's like yeah. recasting me as an MTV VJ for those people who want to go back in time. I think it's a great yeah. idea. Uh, so, returning call. McDonald's mascots Grimace the Hamburglar and Birdie will join a new one, Cactus Buddy, for the new Happy Meal. And according I to McDonald's, the Happy Meal will. I remember the Hamburglar. Hamburglar, I yes. I don't remember the other. Okay, with the guy with the mask on? No, no. So it was to no. be a guy in a striped t-shirt with a, a, yeah, yeah, a yeah. domino mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So I just collected yeah, for the... Mikhail Maya. At the... Okay, so that's yeah, their generation. Yeah, yeah. What about for yeah. me? Because there was no McDonald's when I was young. There was Vada Pao. And as a Parsi, we looked the other way. Yeah. That you could say that in those days. Now it's like a national dish and all. You've got to be damn careful. Can't insult food also in this country. I mean, why uh, we are... food? food sucks sometimes. Why can't we say things about food? Food can be horrible. Why can't food be horrible? Food is horrible. It, it's you true. know what my takeaway? What my 
what my takeaway was from this article uh, sorry so wait, the I... us chief marketing and customer experience officer says we're taking one of the most nostalgic mcdonald's experiences and literally repackaging it in a new way that's hyper relevant for our adult fans and you know what the name of this uh, chief our marketing officer is tariq hasan so a brown guy <laughs> has made it to the top <laughs> He may be a white the, convert. You don't know for sure. That's possible. Yeah. But but white converts usually have like a half English, half uh, Muslim or whatever. Like like Middle John Eastern Muhammad. Name. But Tariq Hasan just sounds brown. I'm pretty sure it's a brown guy. Okay. Uh, my camera is just you know does its own thing. Uh, I was mark of protest because you went on about McDonald's and I've never seen these <laughs> toys. I felt really bad. I have about always it. worked with animators, and uh, to me, Happy Meals were for adults only. They should all rush to get their choice. But yeah, I, I mean, not to. I mean, can I say a, something? A, yeah. I'm not a big fan of the people who think you outgrow McDonald's. Like it's a kiddie exactly, thing in a crazy life. Exactly. I know. Exactly. So I I'm love. saying, I think you like. You how do you love the taste of McDonald's? I understand like the concept, I, but the taste. In India, because in India they don't play the food they give you inside the bun is all rubbish. But in hmm. civilized countries where you have a choice of food, Abbas knows what I'm talking about. Uh, it's quite good. I, I'm a Burger King fan if I have to. Uh, be honest, uh, the double whopper in Spain I had three times. But Burger King in India is even worse. Yeah, it's totally bad. That's, that's due to the fact that they're not letting us put the meats in and all. Okay, let's not go there. Yeah, yeah. Because that's not fair. Let's say we're all in Kuala Lumpur and we can eat everything or whatever, mm. and it's fantastic yeah. the experience. At least I like fast food. Kunal hates fast food. My wife is not a fan. Uh, my son is very careful about his weight, although he likes it, and that leaves Maya and me. So you know we're like a minority every time we go out to, for the thing. And I'm saying, why do adults pretend like it, it's a, like it's a it's a shame to admit that you like fast food or it's like unsophisticated yeah. or you know I mean I don't get that. No, I like fast I'm food. But I like better made fast food. Like I like a like a nicely made burger and chips and. Uh, Chocolate milk. See shake. what you did. You what's your what's your favorite like burger place in Bombay? Um, Kajol. so there is uh, stacks and uh, racks. Bandra. No stacks. Everybody and says racks burger, burger there. Stacks and racks. What are they offering with the with the burgers? Oh, Abbas. <laughs> <laughs> that was that's so. A, that's mature. a that's a happy meal I'd like to have. <laughs> Takes you back to your young days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, mommy, uh, Vijay's mother's got much better uh, <laughs> burgers, <laughs> buns. Oh God! Now don't ask what's inside the burger anymore. Yeah. But uh, so uh, why are the complex? They don't understand the complex about fast food where people like oh we are so well read and developed as uh, citizens of the world. I don't know, man. Just, McDonald's just appeals to my most ba- basic sort of uh, taste. Papa, it's a thing where... called taste also. Now we like the taste. Yeah, is it wrong? Just, like, oh God, it's so, and it's so cheese manufactured, and it's soft, and it's gooey, and I like it. If I it all, some... I like the chip booty at uh, Theo Broma. It's nothing but chips and mayo and cheese in a burger. Chip booty. Yeah. So, so oh my God, Abbas, Abbas, do you have to sexualize every? <laughs> I, th- I no, I am not. I'm just saying we can sense a theme Kajol, here. Uh, go back Kajol, to my first conversation about plays. Indian men. <laughs> Casual Indian men being extremely horny and it's normal for yeah, them to be yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, it's your. It's your. You, yeah. You've seen this on the show, right? Yeah. At least I'm open about whatever I'm feeling. This guy pretends not to be with his uh, Shashi Tharoor accent, but he's a dirty car- <laughs> carnivore who goes to McDonald's and preys on women uh, for some reason. I'll have no, a happy I meal and I'll have burgers. her and her every time no, he goes there. The burgers are, are all I pray on. But I think yeah. Cyrus, it's also because uh, the, our line of work, like shoots and comedy shows or whatever, we are done usually late at night, and McDonald's is the only place, or at least still very recently. So, so, I give you all that. I give you all that. For, Necessity uh, is the mother uh, of your uh, appetite. I give yeah. you all that. But I'm saying also, when I give you a choice, sometimes in your life, are you not happy on a lazy holiday, wherever the hell you are? Are yeah. you not happy to go to a fast yeah. food joint? I am. You know what? I'm gonna just order to... McDonald's right after this recording. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm craving for it right now. But order it and from McDonald's Malaysia. McDonald's has the best fries. Order it from Malaysia. Okay, yeah, fries are fantastic. Oh, God, fries. Don't start me off on fries. Yeah. Fries should be declared like yeah, the like, national dish uh, of the I world. I like KFC's popcorn chicken also. Oh, yeah. You're a strange good. person, Kajal. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> fries, on the other hand, fantastic. But it's oh. chicken fries. You can call it chicken it's, fries. It's like this evil daughter of mine. She orders only the fries. And because I've got the, I'm not supposed to have, I, I can, but whatever, all the problems I have with food now. She eats in front of me and I have to smell it. Because the smell in the room it just pervades, right? The the for uh, KFC, French fry car. Yeah, all of them, the all their, yeah, the yeah, French yeah. fries smell, bro. Oh, That's true. Oh, it's the most beautiful thing in the world. So I'm just glad uh, Kajol's third choice wasn't like I like the popcorn and camel toe from KFC. Oh God, really? I was <laughs> Kajol. Where were you going with this? Next <laughs> episode, you what? Stacks and some... rags, <laughs> chip booty. <laughs> Next, I'm on the road the popcorn, eating poha with you. This is not good. This is not good. Okay. 
Wow. Boas. Even I feel like now, even I feel like eating, but I don't like the the way it's made here because they don't put the right stuff inside That's because true. of the yeah. cultural issues we have. Mm. So, wow. Abbas, be a dear. Can you run? No, all the way to London. Get me a happy meal. <laughs> yeah, I'll send it from there. I'm not coming back with it. <laughs> I wonder if that can be organized through and through systems. I mean, why can't it? In a sense, I mean, you, you guys, uh, you guys remember milk. Kinder Joy, the chocolate which used to have a toy that was quite inside crap. it. No, why? yeah, this is how dare you? Good... These are all things yeah. I like. Ajal, so how sweet. dare you bully us? It's so sweet. I'm talking about Thanks. the quality of the toys inside. It reminds oh, me of me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> beautiful. Thanks for saying that and noticing that. That's beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Uh, okay, now we, we go about... to... Oh. Yeah, so I'm changing track and we're going into our HUFT pet tale story. Our story today comes from a few years back from 2016 when the NSG, a National Security Guard dog named Rocket, burnt his paws while searching for militants during the Pathan Court Air Base attack and was honored on the eve of Independence Day. He was awarded the Chief of Army Staff or COAS commendation wow. for courage and obedience to command. A two and a half year old, especially trained Belgian Milenoi, is a soldier of the elite command. Milenoi, no, he's, not, he's not someone from the subway here. Milenoi. <laughs> You show the, respect to the, the dogs. The <laughs> commando force is called K9, which is uh, the, the, the letter K and 9, but it, yeah. it's also a pun on the word K9. Thank you. Uh, the K9 I like you when you're Shashi. You know, when you're a schoolmaster <laughs> boring me to death with the explanation. You're, you're now Silvery's grandfather. Huh. <laughs> on January 1st, the NSG commandos were flown in from the Palam military airbase to flush out terrorists from the Indian Air Force, Air, Air Force base in Patankot. Rocket, who is on deputation on the country's federal counter-terror force from the Indian Army, was also deployed along with the commandos. So, yes, another another great act of bravery from one of our canine you know, friends. Talking about fragile Indian males. Uh, you know, I mean, we should spend time with Belgian Malinois. Oh, what dogs they are. I mean, they're so they're unflinching. They have such courage. And, you know, I mean, so mm. focused on the task. And then, you know, the guy comes to the gym, hands behind his back, body language, looking at the TV, scratching his chest, asking me, did you have a good weekend? Sorry to hear about what happened. Oh, fuck. I mean, look at the Malinois. Take the lead off. Boom, he's in like yeah. Flynn. That's what you need. You need someone to get up and go. The Josh Janoon. That's what we don't have anymore. And that's why so, I'm writing my book, Indian Men Suck, Let's Save the Bastards. Uh, <laughs> or maybe uh, the title could also be just called Arjun because of the present government. I don't want to, you know, alienate anyone. Yeah, yeah and Arjun is not a controversial name at all. Watch him out. <laughs> Shashi. So it, it says here that because of Rocket's bravery, it, it uh, encouraged the India's canine units to induct more Belgian Malinois dogs as they have shorter fur, which helps avoid heat strokes. So they're like the German Shepherd, which is bred they're very similar in the sense. But uh, the fact is that all the hip in injury issues, all the problems that the breed had. This is very horrible stories about how humans engineer animals. But, you know, yeah. they do that literally in this clinical fashion. But they've kept mm -hmm. all the strong points, which is the fierceness, the loyalty, the courage, the honor, uh, the integrity. The dogs really have integrity. You have to know, know one to understand. And with that, they've got the physical things uh, correct this time. Little faster, smaller, more athletic. That kind of thing. So it would be like uh, Abbas, how I became a Malinois version of you, the shepherd. It's mm -hmm. like that, you know. Right. So but we both are the same. Have... If Kajal's in trouble, she would call us. Would you not have the <laughs> thick layer of hair that I have on me if you were a Malinois? <laughs> I do, but uh, Monday and Tuesday only. Okay. Yeah, and today is a Tuesday. So. Not really, no. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> okay. Should we do one more, one more story before we go to the? Yeah. Areas? Let's do that. Well, it is a democratic okay, so, process, so let's pretend uh, that we care. And yes, okay. <laughs> you you mean to say the elections of my party are a democratic process? <laughs> <laughs> let's just say they haven't been for quite some time. So what you're saying is the family sits around the ballot box, drops everything out and says, we've made our decision. <laughs> well, I don't know what family you're talking about, Cyrus. Uh, but uh, Not Parivar. The... I use the English word. I use the English word. <laughs> it's hugely different. Please understand. Yeah. Also, the current government has kind of taken over the word Parivar. So, yeah. uh, it, it, it only makes That's sense. That's what I meant. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's, you can't, I'm, in a mood, you can't use I'm in a mood to explain jokes today, Cyrus. Yeah, I don't know why, really. Yeah. And it's been my so, joke, which is insulting to me. Now. <laughs> you know, is that what, I did not get my joke? Are you telling me about it? I mean, really. So, in Uttarakhand, you can get... Oh, uh, still very real. <laughs> 
you can get a real jail experience for rupees 500 a night if your astrologer predicts you can get it in up also without yeah. paying but the bail is expensive so you do pay in the end yeah <laughs> yeah that's true so now when kajol makes a joke you're not laughing you ungenerous bastard <laughs> no uh, otherwise it's ha ha shashi this shashi that the people are I'm watching you chauvinist on how to get the story across so this is i think it's a very peculiar thing if your astrologer predicts that planetary positions in your horoscope are not good and you're likely Sorry. to go to jail the jail administration uttarakhand oh. halwani has come so up with a unique idea you have to actually walk to walk to get out of it acha acha you can ward off bad karma for a nominal fee of rupees 500 per night is in this, prison now you can ask our mangalik Oh, unfortunately, we're not in the studio today. <laughs> Mangalik will explain to you that it's a similar concept where they make the person untree himself. A marry, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, marry a tree or a dog. Poor dog. What is the food you get? What food? In the jail, get? dog can at yeah. least say no. The tree. These tourist inmates are given prison uniforms and food made in the jail kitchen. All right. Okay. Yeah. You can get. Is there is there a particular food product you're trying to get at? No, I just wonder whether they give like normal food and not the jail food. No, if it's a no, jail no. experience, then they would give. Okay, guys, food, one right? sec, one sec. Jail food for see, dal chawal will be par for the course. So you know, for those who do not really keen on that, like me, uh, it's not going to be fun. The guy who went to jail with Munawar Farooqi, Nalin, Nalin, Nalin ha, he who I remained heard, in jail for, for, for much Munawar's career. Yeah, 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 exactly. Huh. So I was listening to an interview of his, and he says because the jails are so overcrowded and like way beyond what the number of people they're supposed to hold, what they do is they really dilute the dal. So they put a lot of water and make it more watery so that you can just serve more number of people in the jail. So yeah, but he was saying that the the quality of food in jail isn't half bad. It's like it's not bad. Hey, Baba, these are struggling comedians, Abbas. They're not used to McDonald's. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Also, IITs. I mean, considering what IIT served you, Kajol, I think this this jail food may not be half bad. This brings me yeah. back to the whole spectrum of food, where one man's yeah. meat is another man's poison, literally. And we can't, you know, and it's all about rich food or poorer food or food from poorer sections or whatever. So the taste mm. is different. Like you and I love Olympia's beja masala, but a very yeah. rich person may not be comfortable in the area for some reason. But how do you explain that that food is top of the line for me in that dish? I've never eaten a better one. I don't know if you have. But there's not much taste in jail food, from what I hear, because no, that, I, that, read, I saw know. Nalin's interview. It, Where he says yeah. that even in the halwa they don't put sugar. He said I don't eat like sweet. Uh, and yeah, even in the chai, I think they don't. Think they don't. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Even in the okay. tea, I don't think they put uh, sugar. So. Yeah. Uh, But I must say said, I do respect Nalin, who's sitting there with all the problems that he's facing and is worried about why sakar ne isme. You know, I'm just <laughs> thinking that, that's a bit. You know, that's an interesting way of looking at things. But I'm sure yeah. across the length and breadth of the country, there might be some jailer, superintendent, or somebody who's into food. You know, a foodie kind of guy who's running it, and he just does a better job. Like I've always noticed, the production person on a shoot, if he likes food, everything changes. You know, he's happy to provide food because it's on But his mind. Funding like, should be there, na? Like my my grandma no, years back had gone to Arthur Road Jail. Okay, go on. <laughs> This my is grandma a grandmother's <laughs> story, Cyrus, not the mother's story. No, I, I didn't argue the point about money correlating to uh, food taste. Yeah, sorry. They'd uh-huh. gone to Arthur Road Jail, she and her uh, bahu, to check out the state of the food. I don't know why, and uh, they realized that in They don't cater, huh? If they want it for a wedding or something. I huh? know. They realize that the upma has nothing in it. There's no vegetables. There's nothing. And my grandmom used to make upma very similarly in the house. How do they get to taste so, it? They tasted it. How? How were they allowed to? They they punch each other and then went to jail. It was it was the sixties, Cyrus. It was a wild. Yeah, it time. was the sixties. <laughs> so you say, "Me Taj Mahal ke liye ghumne aur firne ke liye aa gaya idhar aur abhi mein mind change." And also my my why yeah, why yeah, why is Kajol's grandmother talking in an accent? <laughs> No, my my. I just uh... gave her a character, Baba. I'm sorry. <laughs> you wanted to be a little more, more salt of the earth, North Indian type. Oh, yeah. It's a million, wow. Baba. She's a million. You'd be a million. Oh, sorry, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse. Please. So then, what did so what, she do? What, I am more interested in how they got into the jail to eat the food. Okay, because uh, my her bahu, my aunt, was the daughter of the no, governor Kajol, of the reserve bank. How did bank. the process of allowing them to eat the food happen? They're not inmates because my aunt was a daughter of the governor of the Reserve Bank, so there so were he, connections. So they pull strings. So yeah, of okay. Course. Now it makes sense. So the call came to the jailer, superintendent fellow, who said, "Boss ka ladki hai" and all that. So immediately, ha, shalam, shalam, shalam. I assume so. so. I assume so. It's a very old story. I'm just, I was just told this part. But my no grandma. Okay, a telegram came, and then you know he read it. Boss ka ladki, and then okay. Yeah. Uh, Abbas has got to sleep, by the way. Uh. So all the upma in my grandmom's house post that was called prison upma because she used to make it equally badly. Ouch! Oof! 
<laughs> hey, that's a good story. What do you think about this as a 26 part series <laughs> yeah, across the jails of India? No, the I think. Goes on a tour. Why did you say Kunal? I don't think Kunal's got pancreatitis, so I don't think he's the right. Guy I don't think this food will affect him. It'll be excellent for his pancreatitis. I no, I'm thinking take a younger guy because Kunal's too set in his ways, no? Okay, chalo. Kunal and Abbas together. Is there a chance that you are making Kunal pay for something else, Kajol? Making him, I don't know. He's just, just... hoping that after visiting 26 jails, one will just adopt him. You know, <laughs> you belong here, beta. And next thing you know. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. Just tell Kunal that he should do a series on jails. I think it's a decent idea in the sense that I think people would like to see this because the perspective is very different when you talk about it for the first time. What is jail food like? It's not a thought you've had very often. So it's quite interesting. Because maybe we're wrong. Maybe the stereotype is not exactly what we think. Because we think Tihar, Irwara, these Arthur Road. But there are many jails somewhere in Jabalpur or somewhere, you know, northeast or whatever. There might be a better jail with nice facilities. And no, food. yeah. My mom, and my mom was a social worker. Now. So I've, I've even been to remand homes for underage kids. The food that was your gone. house. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and? The food is not great, Silas. The food is not good anywhere. It's, it's so a government sad. institution. It's even criminals should be allowed except to eat. For, except for McDonald's, which is, which is where the food is amazing. So can I tell you in Dubai, when they keep you yeah. in the airport, uh, and I won't mention names of celebrities who have been kept there for drug mm. possession, etc. So they, mm. you can see them when you pass. When you're walking. I'm not taking names. It's not fair. <laughs> but because you know, when you Indian, don't take names, it's okay. But when Indian we and take names, you keep poking us. In, in, okay. Indian and Pakistani guys, you know what they do? Now? If they recognize you, they come and tell you, they go, they go, yeah, and they yeah, take yeah. you, it's like a squash court with glass thing and you can see it. Right? Mm. So they, if they mm. recognize you, they, they, you have to go with them because they're so excited mm. to show you another Desi in jail. It's like yeah, that. Yeah. We are so proud of our people. Well done. I think Dubai jail, Nitin uh, Mirani performed for them also. They get great food. It's air conditioned. It's like a proper hotel. You look at it from outside and say, oh. wait a minute, if I'm late for my flight, whatever, I'm early for my flight, it's not the worst, you know, position to be in. I must say. So I'm just saying, maybe Scandinavia so will have great jails. Yeah, I'm if so ever you get detained, and... you are recommending the Dubai uh, airport to Dubai, get Dubai jail. Uh, Scandinavian okay. countries I hear are great. They have even yeah. open, open uh, jail policies where you're in jail, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, nothing yeah. shut. They just expected not to leave because they don't know that they can or, or that they should or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. Imagine a Desi being locked up and the bars are not there. There is no door. It's 10 o'clock. There's no man standing outside with a gun or anything. I mean, he's off. He's, never, he's gone forever. Oh, but then a Desi wouldn't leave. He's like, this is the life I dream Yeah, of. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, you must come and visit. <laughs> okay, let's go to the AMAs. Follow me at Instagram and Twitter on Board Brocha. I'm so bored. I need your help. I need your love. I need your touch. Okay, just, just, just follow me. So the first question comes from Ameya Bonde. He asks, "Hi, Cyrus and team. So my AMA question for the entire panel is: What are your views on people getting your name wrong?" So I'm immune. Cyrus, I think you're the most qualified for this. Yeah. No, I'm immune. Silence. Yeah, that's true. My name is, but even Kajol gets pronounced, uh, I pronounce it wrong all the time. Abbas is uh, Kajol yeah. and Kajol gets pronounced, but no one gets my last name right, yeah. So it's Srivastava, Srinivasan, Srinivasan, Srivasan, something, I, I don't give a damn anymore. Although frankly so, speaking, Srivasan is a well-known name. It's not difficult, to, unless you live in some ghetto where you only know your community or something, you know, those kind of people. I'll give you an example, uh, Kajol. So you remember I messaged you a couple of days ago about a corporate show inquiry that I had, which yeah. I forwarded on to you. Which I got. So, yeah. Oh, amazing. So and, and, this and person, give him 10%. Now, now give him 10 after, I, find after I tell you this story, don't cancel it, okay? So... <laughs> So I, they, they approached me and they were like, uh, we wanted to perform for a group of women or whatever. So I was like, I think my friend Kajol would be more uh, suitable for this. So I sent her, uh, sent them her contact and her name is in my phone is uh, saved as K-A-J-A-L. Okay. So then she replies back saying, it is, is it Kajal or Kajol? So I was like, it's spelled K-A-J-A-L, but it's pronounced Kajol. And it was the full name, Kajol Srinivasan. So then she's asking, but her surname is uh, Srinivasan. Why do they call her Kajol? I'm like, no, it's a Bengali oh, name. Parents. So they... no, how dare yeah, you ask so... that question? <laughs> I can be called Lori for all you know. I, I mean, like... that's my parents' point, not yours. Why God. is this person so concerned about what her last name yeah, is? And how and why to she pronounce taking, why is she offended? Oh, if she's Tamil, how does she have this name? She's not what offended. The they're just, uh, they're just no, it's trying almost to... like offended. Like, how Tell dare you? you? They just tried so to, I, had to, to... I had to do Kajol set for her. No, she's one third Bengali <laughs> and one third Tamil. <laughs> and what's the one third? Uh, Marwadi. You're Maru also. <laughs> the mother's wow. side. What a lovely mix. But that's great. 
That's fantastic. I, my mom I calls my, my mom says my granddad was the only poor Marwadi in Bombay. So we're not all that happy about it. I've grown up only with Marus, and there's I've not met a poor one. I'm relatively poor one, yes, but not poor. My I granddad mean, was uh, into Bollywood, so he's produced the old Bissal Bad with Hemant Mukherjee, and Bissal he didn't make Bad. money from that. Absolutely, brothers. Yeah, not oh, no, no, the, old, the, the, the Bissal black Bissal and white one. one. The, the black, black and white, white one, Cyrus. So why oh, when is Hemant that. Kumar worked with Ram Singh? Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. I don't, I don't bow to you because I'm not familiar. Then sorry, but but did he have a casting couch? No, my. She said he. It was a petticoat government. In our house, my mother was in charge. My grand, my my dad, father didn't have the guts to do anything. So I'd be like going from my house to your house. I'd again have yeah, no exactly. status whatsoever. Damn it! It's not uh, a good for me, to have, really, people oh. uh, spell my name as Abhas, Abhay, uh, and I've told the story of how one cop thought my name was Abraham, so he <laughs> he made a he made a. He thought you were a prophet. That. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know, okay. uh, Abbas, uh, sorry. Uh, if your name goes wrong, there's no hope for the country because your, uh, due respect, one of the common names uh, alive. Okay. And best friend of, of Mr. Modi in his childhood. Yeah, all that. But I'm saying, who doesn't know Abbas? I mean, you can't be. I mean, really, come on. But when you go down, all I say, there are there are people in our country who grow up completely alienated and cut off and don't meet people of other cultures. So for them, these names are very strange and new and unique. So yeah, wow. there are people. That's a lot of prejudice coming from you, minority. <laughs> not <Ouch>. the prejudice <laughs> is there, not yeah. not from my side. Anyway, the next question comes from Hari B. He says, "Hi, thanks to the sex massage episode and Niv, I am listening to Peter Cat recording, which is not lo-fi but nice trippy jazz and moody blues. Thank you for the podcast. Makes my drive to work Ooh. and back bearable in the who is the Peter Nama Cat fan? Traffic, uh, Niv- Nivedita." Uh, and I know, and, and Kajal, you also, so one of you started going on about no, it. Well. Kaj, uh, no, he's, I was he's, just going uh, on about sex massage the whole episode. Cyrus. <laughs> no, that was, was fine, but the, the Peter Cat then turned out to be this iconic guy, and everybody was, there was more than one yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm too old. Uh, who's no, going to remember? He, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not a question he's just saying thanks for the for imagine the, peter cat having to you know uh, on the phone with him mr cat and they're pronouncing that wrong mr cat a restaurant in calcutta called peter cat isn't that the same guy i don't know maybe it's a his name is an homage to that restaurant i don't know maybe it's just a cheap version of the famous chocolate you know they just want to keep not the brand not cat yeah no it took Whatever. me a while to get that anyway don't worry. <laughs> mine is all about the journey no not the way you reach <laughs> right. Uh, the next one comes from Somit Ayer. Hi, everyone. At what point would you introduce super chats on YouTube? Do you need to hit minimum subscriber number? This question is Abbas or Antariksh for Abbas or Antariksh as somebody who would need to explain to Cyrus no what super chat about. means. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> Just sorry, I'm sorry, my... Yeah. I'm sorry, my OnlyFans uh, channel now. I've decided. Uh, did you already me? started on Instagram? I thought I saw something. <laughs> no, it's not. That was that a was mistake. A that I was, was just try, a yeah, I was trying to show my right quad stomp, <laughs> a la Jay Cutler. All the people attacking my legs all the time. That's it. <laughs> Okay, and, I, and then he tells me there's a hole in the underwear, so uh, I covered it with my hand, and then of course it looked terrible later when I, I mean, when I saw it, I didn't see that part. I was so happy with the right leg striations coming out, and I was just, you know, it's a vanity is a horrible thing, you know, really. You miss the other part. And then Having an OnlyFans is I not an easy. Now my friends fans. follow you. Huh? Having an OnlyFans is not easy. It's just like plugging your OnlyFans wherever you can. Like subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's go. <laughs> you think, but you think no, Volvo, I, Volvo and HUFT will stay? I, I'm just a little worried there now for a minute. Gotta check that out offline. But you do know what a super speak. chat is, right? Uh, yeah. Test me. <laughs> Except I can't on hear. YouTube, on YouTube, you can uh, pay to get your comment or your question highlighted. So the the moment you, do you, you make a YouTube? The, the, the YouTube channel, yeah. Wow, those guys make money yeah. out of us all all the time like this. Really you, I mean, you have to you have to connect. But we have been paying YouTube just to get this too. on YouTube. So ours is a different, you know. We're really low in the in the list. But uh, guys, you don't need a certain subscriber number because uh, you all need to I mean, hit that because Silvery goes to watch Japanese porn again or whatever he did last time. Right? What? Is that a thing we are doing? That if you hit a number, <laughs> a certain number of subscribers, do you, don't you remember do how how Silvery managed to? Or she's saying we've crossed we've crossed the minimum. Oh, you? How we lost it? How we lost it? How you lost it? How you lost it? Oh, oh that we, we lost yeah, it because yeah, yeah. he was on some adult website or something. So they yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, horrible. Yeah. And, and because of... Amit, Amit was in America, so he was so <laughs> upset. He left. He left the team alone for like ten days, and he comes back. There's no YouTube. It's like that. 
because because of that, me and Silvery, the... huh? me and Silvery, so now you know I don't know what I'm doing, and that guy was like, you know, I I I I you 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 I I I I you it went out like that for half an hour. And I was a guest on the first episode after you lost your YouTube, and there were yeah. three people watching. <laughs> yeah, he had to start from scratch, and Kajal Amit was very cross. Huh? I must tell you, uh, I mean, he was trying his best not to be, and when you're trying not to be, it's like when you're drunk and trying not to be drunk, it was like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so, what did you his talk? Even more, his softness becomes <laughs> more aggressive. You know, have you noticed that? So, I mean, goes softer when he's a little angry, and that softness came came out. And Silvery was stammering even more. Silvery didn't get a word out. Silvery was like, ah. I think, I think Silvery had no regret. He was like, Yeah, I was just trying to wanted to read this manga, and uh, I don't know what happened, man. Everything was went. Everything just went away. <laughs> But I still don't, uh, I I still don't something. know what happened. Fuck, I, forgot. I still don't know what happened. <laughs> ah, I, I was saying that because of that one incident, the social media team in office is now not allowed to leave uh, leave their laptops outside in the open. They have to lock them in a locker before going away for the day. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> yeah. They have to lock key? yeah, yeah, they have to put uh, their systems in a locker. I mean, yeah, they can come and retrieve it the next day, but they can't just leave a laptop overnight in the office unattended. Bro, I, I do think we should wait till we see real success before we behave like this. I mean, you're be like, I mean it just makes no sense. No, I what totally get it. You, got nothing you can't to lose. risk lo- losing 12,000 subscribers again. <laughs> But I want to. I want to ask. Hey, bro, we came how... back. Kajal was right. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how many were that. That very first episode, we were back to square one. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. It's a new medium. Three. She's not even joking. Literally, right? It was like literally like ten people or something. It was ridiculous. But I would like to ask uh, who's asked this question. Somit, Somit, how much would you? What's the most you would pay to get your super chat featured on the? On the chat, let us know, and then we'll well, think about it. Is it a rate card thingy? I thought it's just a set price. People, right? yeah, people pay in dollars and pounds and all of it. Yeah, so that's how Tanmay so Bhatt weak. makes a living. That's a, that's how Tanmay Bhatt makes a living. Foreign exchange. He's, he streams. <laughs> <laughs> he streams for three four hours, and people keep doing the the super chats for him. Wow! Can yeah. we uh, hire him? But there'll be three yeah. fat boys in our office. No, 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 leave it. <laughs> uh, Sparsh is saying we've crossed the number and we'll get the answer from him. On Thursday, as tomorrow, we have to. Oh, the very subtly uh, sparse reminding me that I have to make an announcement that we won't be having an episode tomorrow, which is a Wednesday, because of the Sera. So we will see you again. So on then why Thursday. did we shoot do this show? We would because have been this fine. Is a Tuesday. This is a Tuesday episode, Cyrus. It's oh. Tuesday today. Oh, so why didn't no, I shoot that damn thing on Wednesday? Wednesday. <laughs> also, Dashera. Yeah. Oh my God, Himmel, Schnell. Okay, got it. Wow. We, I have one last. I'm, I'm going to Mira Road today because it's Tuesday, what? right? I'm going to Mira Road, yeah, why which is Mira really far wow. for me. Okay. And forget that, Kajal, I have to come back in the night. But why? Can you imagine going? that? Why are you going? Are the British left the country because of these kind of things? <laughs> Mira Road back to town. The why most British commander Road? said, "Okay, that's drop it." Drop in on my, drop into my house on the way. How? Where is it on the way? You're halfway. Less. I mean, after you, it starts to drive. No, You're only mean, Yeah, come, 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 Mira Road. come over, come over. Oh. Oh, I'm already feeling depressed. And we actually both know sorry. that uh, Saris is not going to come over. Okay, can I take one last question? I would have from to go Discord. over, but where's the time? I have to go and do something then, whatever, in so many hours and come back. Is it an event or is it a shoot? Shoot, shoot. Oh, okay. Uh, C H U T, shoot. <laughs> Rogue Cucumber asks, How much of a cat person is Cyrus? We know Naveen has a pet cat. Why doesn't Cyrus have one? I don't mind keep I love we feed cats at the BG. I'm fighting yeah, all yeah, these cat, cat heater, haters that are there now. So, some idiot in the lawns which are owned by the BMC and not owned by any club, let me tell you. Oh, the cat poop is too much. We can't exercise. It was rubbish exercise that they do in any case. Cat poop is so small in a huge lawn. These are the issues. So, how do you explain that India is not a superb, happy society when these are the problems people have? Have, honestly, and don't come after me with VIPs. Really, this how can this be an issue with somebody that they're so small minded they won't chase cats because they may do poop in a lawn which is open to everyone? Okay, so it's like uh, Azad Maidan or Shivaji Park, the proper full ground. A cat poop, Kajal has a cat person, Abbas has a cat person. Please show the size of cat poop. My everyone. cat goes outside and poops and comes back. I'm like, that's chill. No, you must be having a sand pit. So now we're going to try and get that yeah, done. But yeah. I'm like, just the way people get angry, just ridiculous. Over what? Frustrated, unbelievably. No, luckily, the, the people in my building are all very cat lovers and they pet the cat whenever they see the cat. So I think... The problem with petting a cat chill. is a cat is very low. So your hamstring is take a beating every time. So I have to yeah, be very careful at my true. age. So I stretch before I pat. Or I go down and I stay with them for a little while. Make it paisa was soon. Yeah. Did you so ever have a pet cat, Cyrus? I brought a cat home, but they're from the road when I was young. But my mom made okay. me. We fed her and then had to put her back. 
I bought everything home. Pigeons, turtle. Like I found in a market and brought home. Is that how you Sparrows. found Kunal? The Kunal, I I left downstairs. The delivery boy brought him up. That was a bit sad. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That brings so, us Kunal to the end like of the animals. Animals. Really? No, he was scared. Uh, he was scared of dogs. He was no connection with cats or cows or anything. You know, nothing. Mm. Uh, it's taken him a long time. Now he's okay. But he's not really a, an animal enthusiast. But now he's okay around them. Okay. Yeah. Mm. That's like it for the day. Eight. That's it for this Tuesday. Kajal is asking, have we neutered Kunal? Uh, no, no, I uh, said no. he likes animals on his plate. You had to, right? <laughs> you had to kill the moment. Uh, a crusader, me and Abbas fighting for cats. And now, just another hypocrite. Yeah, <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> uh, cool. Right. We'll, uh, we'll see you on Thursday. And I think I'll be on the Thursday episode again. So it's an abundance of me. Oh, and I think Thursday, <laughs> Thursday I should be here. Okay. Right, because really? it's evening. It's, it's the evening, evening show. Yes. It's the evening show. Unless we can. When you say on... here, you when you say here, you mean where you are right now. Yeah, I pointed the camera like an idiot, but okay. yeah, you're right. <laughs> where I am exactly. Yeah. Okay, in, Kajol, where will you be? Show. Anything you want to plug? No, Kajol will, will be I'm with me. I'm currently in Baroda. I'm currently in Baroda. Kajol will be oh, with me because nice. October fifth, my wife leaves, so there's a vacancy. Kaj, hop in, bro. Right here. I mean, she's asking you to stop by on Wednesday for. Yeah, for, nah, but what stop yeah. by? Skip? Be here for twenty-one days because I'm wifeless. And bring your friends, Kajal. <laughs> Only females, huh? Huh, huh? All right. Sorry, big boy. But you can play with Kunal upstairs. Okay, if you drop in. <laughs> Abbas, I'm doing. Okay, Abbas. I think I think we should wrap up because <laughs> yeah, we're we going into oh, NSFW category. Yeah, yeah, Hamish, yeah, yeah. Hamish, I will put an NSFW yeah. warning for this. So that's all from us. Bye bye. Okay, catch us on any of the podcasting apps, please. We beg you, we need you. Send us your questions on Twitter on Cyrus Says In, or you can email us, even if you're not female, on whatcyrussays at gmail.com. 